Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Ryan Hubbard, and this is Hubbard's Handmade. Surprisingly, I'd never made a cutting board, even though I've been making stuff out of wood for a few years now. I started by getting this rough sawn maple cleaned up on the jointer and planer. Boy, did it make a mess. After getting it cleaned up, it ended up being a beautiful figured maple. Next, I cut my boards into pieces just over one inch in size. I ended up with about 16 of these strips, so the next step is to glue them all back together, turning every other piece uh, 90 degrees. I learned that end grain cutting boards use a lot of glue, and yes, I use Tight Bond 3, which is a food safe glue. After coming out of the clamps, it was uh, time to go over to the planer and clean these boards up, and then off to the table saw again to cut them into pieces just about three inches thick. The overall thickness of the cutting board needs to be about two and a half inches, and I wanted to give myself plenty of room to get the faces cleaned up. So here I'm getting the pieces put back together again with glue and again turning the pieces, uh, this time um, 180 degrees in the opposite direction. With the glue drying in the clamps, there was not a whole lot to do but sit around and wait. I may have been a little bored, but I got better at a few things too. Out of the clamps again. And as you'll see, the surfaces ended up being a little bit off, so it's a good thing I left myself plenty of room to clean them up. I've seen this cool router sled jig in a few videos where you use a bottom cleaning bit to plane the surface of a butcher block or really any kind of surface that might be too wide to fit in a planer or a drum sander. I don't have a drum sander, so this is a perfect time to try this out. I used some finishing paste wax to make sure that these surfaces slid easily over one another. I'm using some double-sided tape to secure my butcher block down to this granite surface. In my vlog video, I talked about finding these in the dumpster of a granite and marble store. It made for a perfectly flat, smooth surface, and I'm just using some 2x6s that I cleaned up on the table saw as my side rails. I was really impressed with how well this worked to get this nice and flat, and then after I flipped it over, uh, the two surfaces are perfectly parallel. After surfacing the top and bottom, it was time for a lot of sanding. I'll spare you the details since there were probably hours of sanding. Since that figured maple looks so beautiful, I couldn't help but cut some of these extra pieces down and plane them just to a about a half inch thickness to make a border around the outside of this butcher block. After I got it all together, I was really glad that I did because that amazing grain shows up so well on this outside frame. I had also filled a few cracks with some epoxy as you can see. Then after all that was dry, it was out of the clamps and some more sanding before going over to the router table and using the same bottom cleaning bit to cut some grooves for handles in each side of the cutting board. After that, I switched out that router bit for a cove bit, flipped it over and set up some stop blocks to cut a blood groove around the perimeter. After that, a whole bunch more sanding up to 220 grit on every surface. Then I flooded all of the surfaces with mineral oil to seal and protect it. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm putting out more videos every week. Once again, I'm Ryan, and this is Hubbard's Handmade.